Hello, I'm Phil Svitek, 360 Creative Coach. And in this episode, I want to specifically talk to storytellers out there that want to make uh, longer projects. So what do I mean by this? Well, if you're a writer and you want to write a novel or perhaps a trilogy of books, I don't know. Um, if you're a filmmaker that wants to make a feature film, right? Um, any of these things, or, or like if you're someone that wants to be within TV and, you know, the goal is to make episodic TV shows, all these fall into this category, right? But, and the point is, I want to inspire you to go and do those things and practice those things. Because if you're a writer and you're writing short stories and not a novel, yes, it's beneficial, but it's different. Same thing if you're a filmmaker and if you've been just making short films and so forth, um, you know, go make a feature film, right? Because while there's many things that are similar, at the end of the day, there's a different discipline and it, it requires more of you to make that longer project, right? It, it is, you know, there's, like I said, there's a lot of similarities, but there's a lot of differences. With a short story, you know, you can grab someone's intention and you just have to make one really good scene from start to finish. And yes, it, it takes a lot of work to, you know, tell a story very succinctly in that way. But also prolonging it and, and making it engaging. Uh, like a lot of times, especially when it comes to writing, the second act is where a lot of things gets boring. And that's because it's very difficult to, to create a good second act. And so eventually, if you want to like be successful as a feature filmmaker, as an, a novelist, as someone who makes TV shows and so forth, you're going to have to get into that groove to do it. And I know for me, you know, I always wanted to direct feature films. And I, I you know, people kind of looked at me of like, wait, so you're just going to do a feature film, but you don't have like funding or whatever. And I was like, okay, but, but I, I, I've learned enough lessons and I know I can do it for cheap. And like, even if I fail, I'm still going to learn something, right? It's, they, they often say this for like screenwriters, you know, your first three scripts will be garbage, you know, but they're all stepping stones to then the fourth, which will start to, you know, take shape. Um, now, luckily for me, you know, the, the, the beautiful thing is I don't like to waste anything. And so I think, you, you know, you can always revise bad work, right, is essentially what I'm saying. But going through that experience of making my first feature film, I learned so much that no short film had ever taught me. You know, it, it, it takes you're having to sustain something for over a more prolonged period of time. You're having like just, and all that comes with it, right? Both from the storytelling perspective, both from the production perspective and everything in between. There's a lot of time and effort that goes into it and, and, and discipline mentally, right? So you, that you're working that muscle when you start to expand. And, and again, I think there's a lot of, great things that are gained by just doing a lot of shorter form projects. But if your ultimate goal is that longer form, eventually you kind of have to take a leap and, and do one of them. Because like I said, I mean, it, it's a lot more, it becomes an exponential of what's required. And I've seen certain people fail from one to the other. Um, and again, it doesn't mean that they can't pick themselves up and then do a better job or revise, you know, the, the, that stuff, that work. Um, but that's why it is important to, you know, eventually just kind of take that leap of faith on yourself and go for the big project that, that you want. Um, 
you know, and I know like time and resources are always in limited supply. But, you know, I think we, a lot of people hide behind that when they could just go for it, you know? And that, that was my big thing of like, you know, people looked at me of, well, why don't you just continue to make short films? And I was like, because I've been there. I've done that. I want to make a feature film. And so I made the first one. And then I thought to myself, okay, well, was it just coincidence? Like, was it just sheer dumb luck? Like, I was somehow able to pull this off. And so I decided, like, let me prove to myself that it wasn't by making a second feature film. And I did, right? And so the first one is Love Market. The second one is a Bogota trip. And now <laughs> I want to go for something even crazier. I want to make a trilogy of movies. Right? So, you know, I, in that sense, I want to challenge myself and continue to grow. And that's ultimately what I want for you. Like, if, if your goal is to do those things, at a certain point, you got to go for them because it can be easy to hide behind the comfort of just continuing to do what may have essentially become easy at this point, right? Like, if you're writing great short stories that's fantastic and if you enjoy that great power to you but if it your goal is truly to like write a book you know then eventually you gotta just start right if you want to make movies eventually you gotta just go to it do it so you know let this be both permission and hopefully inspiration to begin your journey. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. See you 